Hello friends, welcome to Info Output Campus. So today in this video, we will see the partial sum function. Okay, so how to do that? Suppose you have some elements in an array. Suppose you have 10, 20, 50 and 100. So after partial sum, you will get the output as 10 and then this 10 and this 20 will be added and you will get 30 and 30 plus 50 there will be 80 and 80 plus 100 there will be 180 okay so in this way you will get this output if you have these inputs okay so we'll see it in a practical so first right here is in a cloth i will stream then as include numeric and then using namespace standard using namespace standard and then int main okay inside this main function write an array suppose integer type array and inside this we want the values like 10, 20, 50, 100, 500. Okay. And then we want to do the first cell sum with these elements. So write first cell sum here. And then write the name of the array. And then A plus. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Write your 5. And we want to store these elements after doing the partial sum into an another array, suppose B. Okay, for that we have to write the array here. So int V and the size is 5. Okay, we have done it, but we have to print the output after doing this partial sum operation for int I equals to 0, I less than. 5i plus plus so see out and then we going to print the value of b because we have stored the values of the partial sum into the b okay okay we have done it and here choose c plus plus 14 and then run it okay we have get the output as are expected so 10 30 80 180 and 680 okay so if you understand and enjoyed this video and if you like this video then please like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care